Hey guys! I figured it might be fun to have a little uh, baking cookies video. So here we are. First thing you want to do, wash your hands. And for those of us who have kind of long hair, one thing I like to do is just get my hair up and out of the way so that it doesn't become a problem while you're baking. So uh, let's get started. All right, friends, here are the ingredients that we're gonna need for our chocolate chip cookies. We're gonna need two and one fourth a cup of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, one cup of unsalted butter, which is two sticks, three fourths a cup of sugar, regular sugar, three fourths a cup of brown sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, two eggs, and two cups of chocolate chips. All right, friends, another thing that I like to get out when I'm baking and have ready to go are the measuring utensils that I'm gonna be using. So here is a fourth a cup for measuring out dry ingredients like flour, here I have one teaspoon, here I have half a teaspoon, and you might be asking, where is your one cup uh, for measuring out your ingredients? Well, I like to use multiples of these because it's just easier to scoop with a smaller one. So four of those will equal one cup. Alrighty, now that we have made our dough, you wanna, you're gonna wanna get out a cookie sheet. I like to line it with this um, non-stick parchment paper, um, just because it makes clean up a little easier. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scoop out my cookie dough and spread it apart, oh, probably about a good inch uh, in between each one so that they don't run into each other when they are cooking. So I dished out my cookie dough onto my cookie sheet. Uh, I'm gonna put them in the oven. This you would definitely want an adult's help for because the oven is mighty hot. You do not want to get burned. But there they are. I like to set it. Um, they say 13 to 15 minutes. Um, I set my timer if I'm not sure I usually check it at 10 minutes I made some cookies the other day and 11 minutes seemed to be the key for my oven but your oven might be different so just keep that in mind and uh, yeah we'll return when they are all baked so if you have a lot of cookie dough left and you don't want to bake it all uh, what you can do is go ahead and freeze your extra cookie dough I like to separate it a little bit um, into smaller batches and then you can have cookie dough at a later time. Ready to go. All right, let's check these out. Oh, not too bad. Maybe a little too long for this batch. And enjoy. Time to enjoy. 